So in your experience, as, as you work with uh, many clients on all aspects of their financial plan, how do women compare to men when it comes to financial planning? Do, do you see a big difference? Yep. As a general rule, I find that women are less focused on the day-to-day -day market fluctuations. They're not typically the ones at the water cooler bragging that they bought Apple at $1.49. Yeah. Uh, it's more that they're looking at it from a more holistic point of view. They're, they're more worried that, or more concerned that the market fluctuations, how they affect their, their goals, their dreams, their aspirations. So they're looking more big picture. Okay. Um, you know, I spoke about the challenges, right? Like the wage gap and the longer lifespan. In your view, um, Carla, do you think women recognize that those are challenges? And, and if they do, what are the specific concerns that they, they do have? Uh, I think single women are very aware of these of yeah. these uh, challenges. They're living them on a day-to-day -day basis. I think the women that are, are possibly uh, more blindsided by them are uh, women who are uh, who go through a, a relationship uh, uh, wind up <laughs> uh, later in life mm -hmm. or they're perhaps widowed uh, later in life and they're they're a little bit more um, shocked you know the, the the assets that they and their partner built up over their lifetime is now cut in half and uh, and you know they don't have necessarily the the income to make up that ground yeah is it is it retirement that they're mostly worried about I mean I certainly hear that a lot like I don't know if I have enough I don't know what is enough um, concerns that they might be outliving their savings in retirement Absolutely. I find that the, the women who come to me uh, that, are, that are talking about retirement are concerned that they can even re consider retiring and how it's, how it's going to impact them. Uh, often they're a little more pessimistic, I think, than, than the men who come in. Yeah. Um, Carla, women often prioritize their family. And, uh, you know, and I've seen they often put their own financial security sometimes in the, in, on the back burner. Do you think that we need to start, as women, we need to start shifting that mindset? Like, what's the cost? Absolutely. I mean, there's the societal pressures that we have. There's the there our own guilt that we deal with. I mean, we're statistics show we're still doing the majority of the the housework, the majority of the cooking, the majority of the shopping, and that is that really affects our ability to earn. And so, I think really we have to start asking for help, asking, uh, you know, for a more equal playing field. I guess. Yeah. Uh, we have a, a minute and a half left uh, to commercial break, but um, for those women who do face a larger wealth gap compared to men, um, what advice do you have for them? H how do they how do they catch up? Sadly, it's it's not very uh, exciting. Uh, really, it's to save early and to save regularly. And really look for the low hanging fruit, mm. I guess, is my message. You know, there are a lot of employers who offer uh, pension plans, group RSPs, employee share purchase plans, and quite often they will match your contributions to some extent. And so that is, you know, it, it can be 100% return on your investment in, immediately. And so look for those opportunities. The other benefit to those plans are that they will take the money straight off your paycheck. So you never see it. And what you don't see, you don't miss. And so that's a great way to um, accelerate your savings and, and make it as painless as possible. Yeah, and investing that money is really important, right? Because you're taking advantage of the power of compounding. All right, we're gonna take a quick break and uh, we'll be right back.